What's up, Keith? Appreciate it, buddy. I don't just. I guess Dave don't have a thing today. This is only caught the custom sponsored thing. I see not. An eel and a roach, maybe. Eel and a goby. I'm gonna go for eel, boys. This could be ugly. It's only 35 minutes too. <laughs> I wonder if it's daytime or nighttime. It's partly cloudy. Oh, they're on Fridays now. Well, damn. I didn't know that. Thanks for telling me, buddy. Yeah, I did not know that. That explains it. Yeah, I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try my catfish mix. I don't know if it'll work or not, though. I guess we'll find out. We will find out. I know a half hour is going to go quick. Oh, yeah, I didn't even look to see uh see what I'd missed. Which one was it? Extravaganza or uh Sturgeon in the dark. Yeah, those sturgeon will piss you off, man. <laughs> it feels like it's just fixed where it won't drop, man. <laughs> I don't know why it does it. Yep, that one's notorious at it. Yep, been there. You gotta just try to laugh it off, but yeah, it, just, it does get annoying. All right, fellas, here we go. What a going for. Obviously, I guess any any good sized deal would work. And then target a small one, but boy, 35 minutes is going to go quick. Thankfully, we can use the rod stand. Oh, and it's in the day. I didn't realize that. That might. Might make a difference, might not, who knows. Guess we'll find out. We'll try it and see. I'm gonna try my fat cats mix here. I made for don't know if it'll work for sure yet, but we'll try it. I would think it would work on ale, but maybe. Maybe not. my spot canister off again.
Oh, this is taking forever, bro. I'll have to see if I get, a, oh, I probably won't get home in time. I got something going at work. Yeah, I won't be home on time. If it's still at one o'clock. No, I got a big project at work Friday. Probably won't be home till three, later in the afternoon. Let's get some rods in the water here. Hey, Akbar, how you doing, buddy? Boys, this could fail really badly. The ideal in this one is to get a good-sized eel and then probably a goby or a roach. Not good, but bad of RNG. <laughs> Isn't the game... Uh, the game can be very cruel, can it, Akbar? I know the routine, buddy. You just got to try to keep fishing through it and go on to your next competition on your next day and... Figure out if you did anything wrong or not. If you didn't do anything wrong, the game was just against you, man. Oh, this could feel bad. thinking I probably should have did CSL. I should have swapped out an aroma. I'm almost certain. Almost certain. I may not even get a bite. I may not even get a bite. Man, let's just throw one out there natural. Just so I get something. Hey, Lennon. I joined a thing here at the last minute. Catch, so I'm trying to spot an eel in. If I can get an eel, I'm going to go for a small fish. That one just swam off. At least we're getting the fish to come in. Oh, they did. I didn't even think about the Xander. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about the Xander. I should have. It looks like we got something nice. Oh, trophy. Well, I needed it to be bigger than that. That's not big enough. Well, we're going to have a gap anyway. 
At least we didn't miss entirely, fellas. What in the hell? Why does it do that? Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about the Xander, bro. <laughs> I don't even think I brought a spinning rod. Damn it. I don't, even, I don't know why I wasn't thinking about the Xander. My first thoughts were just like yours, Keith. Go, go for the, the eel. How the hell did this get went over here? Ah, it was something fun to try anyway, right? Well, it's nice to know my mix at least worked on it. I should have threw out all two of those. That's what I should have did. Well, that was drifting hardcore, though. The question is, do I respot over the top of this? I could try to get a small. Okay, we're getting bites. I just pulling it away there. Need a unique to spawn in. Come on, uni. And there's definitely ill out there because it's it says bait pulled too far away. That usually means it's an ill. Is it gonna take it? So it's an eight or nine pounder. Oh, baby. All right, now let's see. That's the only bad thing. I don't really have time to go for another one. Oof. Did you get one too, bro? Nice. I think you're gonna get me because my Well maybe we'll go first and second, bro. We'll see if, we'll see what these other guys do. I'm hoping my mix will bring something in. Oh, yeah, you got me by point three <laughs> Or point two. You monster.
What the hell did I catch? A bream. <laughs> a bremer. Too big, too big, too big. I'm breaming it. Oh, no. Too many brain. Oh, it's a flounder. I drew in a, my mix drew in a flounder on blood worms. <laughs> Whoa. Hold on, boys. We got to readjust here. What the? Oh, my God, dude. I forgot where my roach spot was. I guarantee I erased that. Well, I got a plan. I got a plan, boys. I got a plan. I got a plan. Keith, are you already going for a bigger L, bro? I'm going to try it if I get a decent one. Barely going to have time to do so, though. Oh, hell. Right there. Oh, 36. Dude, I'm going to be the guy that don't get the small. <laughs> so ready to go over here. That's got to be a small. Be a roach. There we go. 0.23. All right. Now, oh hell. <laughs> oh, here we go, boys. We gotta try to get Keith out of there. Go, 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 go. Oh, 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 I should go with two, but I can't. Ah, oh, let's do it. Let's go big or go home. Gotta try to catch Keith somehow here. Oh, 
Come on, bro. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we're going all big cutback. A hundred and fifteen pound marble? A marble carp? I never even knew there were marble carp, bro. <laughs> uh, man. Oh geez, that's too long. Let's go 98. I there's no way I can do that right now, bro. I'm right right in the middle of something. I'll look I'll look later. Do you the work? Do what, Mason? Yeah, I worked five hours this morning, bro. What do you mean? Do you the work? What work? We're at Ghent. Great one. No, man. Yes, I have a job, bro. Do, do you got a job, Mason? Great one. We're going for whatever the biggest fish and the smallest fish. It's a gap competition. So we're trying to get a bigger eel. Because we know the eel can get bigger than a Xander. Slag spike.
I doubt they'll give us two. What the hell? Dude, that was way off on the right. Flounder? Oh, smile. I think it's safe to say you definitely should be able to spot in linked matters. I think that might be an L, but oh, two unis, though. What's up, Kumar? How's your day going, buddy? Your day is rocking, nice. Your second one was smaller too, but you know what, Keith? That's definitely going to change length of matters. Except you only got one rod out, so it'll be a little annoying, but I'm looking forward to trying uh, 
Have you tried it and linked the banners yet? Like that little clip that I put up on it? Yep, for sure. And I'll make Link the Banners a lot more fun, I think. Oh, you did it once and got a flounder? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll be ready to ready. To, I don't know why the mix you just used wouldn't work, man. So worth the try. The cool thing about that one is it's an hour. So hell, you could potentially spot four times. All right, well, I'm gonna have to get through that there. Yep, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Even if you get a unique and two trophies, It's still end up all right. I gotta just get this out of here. Obviously, the odds I get another one before two minutes ends is pretty slim, but gotta try anyway. Oh, we're already getting bites. Let's chum the hell out of it. I think we're gonna have time, fellas. Getting bites to I do feel like you almost have to be at least 80 foot out. You might be able to get him at 60, but. GG's, fellas. That was fun. 20 bait coins to keep and 10 for me. 80 and 81. All right, yeah. <laughs> I almost shortened mine up, but I was scared to go. I, d I know I didn't want to go 60 on that first one, but hell, that was good, man. That'll definitely make Link Matters more fun. For sure. Spotted some eel in. And me and Keith both got two, two, two unis, 80 to 90 foot out. 
Right on. The power of spotting, fellas. Power of spotting. All right, I got about 25 minutes before. What is that? Well, the comps aren't really that good today. I wish there was more sponsor now. Nothing on the sponsored, boys. Dance on the pike. Yuck. Hold on. What was... Great one wanted me to look at something. What did he catch? I'm assuming he's... What did he say? 115 pounds? Was it Sanderby? Partly sunny day. Hold on a second, come on. Partly sunny day, what's good for carp bait? Oh man, boilies are, uh, I don't know, it's kind of in between one. I think tiger nut's pretty universal. Tiger nut's a pretty universal one in regards to sunny or partly cloudy. Uh, if you're not getting a bite on a fruit, try uh, like a fruity bait if you're talking boilies. Try like uh, krill or crab. Krill or crab probably. I usually had pretty good luck with krill. Thought he said he had a 115 pounder. Got a 104 pounder. You're welcome, man. Yeah, it's usually sunny and sweet. And let's see. Our fish mill, fish mill and shellfish. Those both usually work. I don't know why I like I like curl over most of them. But I don't know what he's talking about here. I don't see no 150 pounder, bro. I don't see it, man. I see a 104 pounder. Two on, I don't know, that'll take, bro, it'll take me five years to find you. <laughs> it'll take me five years to, there you go. What do you, what do you want me to look at, bro? One quick spotlight. What do you need in here? What do you got? It better be impressive, bro. I'm looking at a carp. Big head. Oh, nice. That one? Oh, big head. 116. Nice, bro. Yeah, that's a nice one. I see it, bro. I see it. Chill, bro. Chill. Congratulations on that. That's a nice one, man.
I think those things might get up to the 120. I, I want to swear somebody told me that. Hundred and twenty or hundred and twenty five, somebody said. this work just for this dancing on the pike that's so much work just to go in and get a six pounder I wish we could spot for pike <laughs> big you've seen me try thousands of times and i sure you have i'm sure you have yourself <laughs> you ever get a seven pounder in that big because i never have not one time bro and i guarantee you 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 probably played in 80 of those things or if not more i played in around 30 30 30 to 40 since last february and i've not yet to get one in the seven pounders in that dance on a pike Never in the, yeah, me either. <laughs> Never in the comp. I I got one seven pounder in a practice template, big. Did practicing for that uh, Q1 or whatever it was. I got one seven pounder in that, but outside of that, no. And I think in free mode a couple times, but never in the actual comp. So it still makes me wonder, is it a certain lobby you get in big and it just gives you the good luck on that too? Because I, I don't know what lure I could try that I have not tried. And I'm sure you've tried every damn lure there is for him. I don't know. Don't know. Luck of the draw. Super lobby or something, man. Probably. That'd be the only other thing that makes sense, to be honest. Well, that... <laughs> I doubt that big, but maybe. I think you're on the track, though. It might be... I, I've had some good luck going into different servers, for sure. I'm trying to play them in different servers. Who knows? Maybe there's a certain server that hands out the big one over and over. And some of those guys have figured that out. I, I don't know. Are Mandarin Pike bigger? <laughs> Maybe. That is one of my... F the Chinese server's overpowered. One of those... Uh, I don't know... I don't know my languages very well, but Mandarin or whatever the, the picture graph languages are, but they seem to help. And then... Uh, what was another server I tried that I thought I was doing all right in? I can't remember. But yeah, it does seem to make a difference. Or does it just make a difference if you're in one country and you play on a different server? Hell, I don't know. There's something to it, though. There's definitely something to it. All right, I got that set up. What the hell do I want? I got one. Oh, my God. Both of these are torture. Why is there not a good custom on, man? There's just nothing good on. It might be. It might. Be. To me, it feels like there's a lot of the stuff does seem to be server based. Not that the other stuff you do is not important, but it is starting to seem like that to me, man. It is starting to seem like that. I don't even know. 
What do I go fish for? Shark? I don't really want to fish for shark. What is there to fish for? Gosh, we need that new map. There's literally nothing to fish for. But the same old stuff. Let's see, I got 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Wolf. Just fish for pike. I definitely don't want to go spot for anything. That pig sucks. Well, let's go get our top water warmed up. That makes the most sense, I think. Get warmed up for top water. Oh no, where'd my frog go? Did that really take my frog out? Holy, I've got a collection of X-Series frogs now. Grief, man. For sure. I can't even remember where I picked them up in at this point. I'm sure when I picked it up, I was thinking, man, I wish I'd have won something else. All right. We'll get warmed up in this real quick. Just to throw some top water. Oh, you're you're welcome, Matt. I hope they helped you, man. Hope they helped you. Definitely a lot to learn in this game. I'm still learning. What in the heck? Auto pop finally worked.
<laughs> no, they only they give you eleven pounders in free mode, bro. Might maybe it's a buff in. <laughs> no, I normally don't get buff in on these. But it might be one. No, that's a bass. Close. Ten six. Might as well be one. I'm practicing for tournament next month. Oh. Oh my gosh.
This goes to show you, hook size sometimes just doesn't matter. Well, you know, that's what's funny on here. It's like you try to find a pattern and yeah, but he even says on this game, I don't know if you've ever seen that little flash that comes up, that little memo that'll come up. It says big fish bite small hooks too, but yeah, <laughs> who knows? I think in theory... Maybe a bigger unique bounces off and then the next one that respawns behind it is then maybe bigger. But I, I don't know. I've still tried figuring that out myself on here, Keith. Even to this day, still. Because I've set in practice templates before, keep with buddies practicing stuff. I'm using a big hook. They're using a medium hook, and we're, we're pretty much catching the same fish, or vice versa. Yep, great point, man. I think more importantly, I guess you would say what a hook big enough to get the unique that you know, we're trying to target, and then hopefully uh, it doesn't miss the hook. So sometimes you kind of just want to get out uh, whatever fish you're going for and just hope the... Uh, Whatever the lotto number is for you is one that you need. No, we won't. <laughs> I think what you're kind of hoping for, Keith, is just ultimately as dumb as it sounds and as vanilla as it sounds is you got to have good RNG, man. <laughs> you just really do. Butterfly, I'm pretty sure. Sure is. All right, dancing with the pike. We got self warmed up there. Let's try. What the hell do I even want to do? Do I try that to start? Let's try it. Why not? All right, good luck to anybody playing in dancing with the pike.
Go in there and get our small unique, hopefully. As long as we get a couple uniques. Hope the lotto's in our favor. It usually isn't. Back to Quants, could we go, fellas? I can tell you the last couple times I've played in this, the Tobacco Hut was not kind to me. I'm half tempted to just throw the Patriot Walker all over and over anymore. Oh my god, dude. Are you kidding me? We're bare it's, There's a 7.6 already. Ow, oh, one cast? <laughs> What's this? Is that the French server? We should go to the French server. Hey, North, how's your day going, man? Nothing like when you literally join this thing 45 seconds in and there's already a 7 6 on the board. <laughs> oh, man. Hi. <sighs> Oh, you're welcome, Matta. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Appreciate the positive feedback, and good luck to you, man. Enjoy you some rest, buddy. Let's try this thing. 7.6. Trophy and unique. Oh, God. Another salmon class. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle it, bro. I'll look. Hold on a second. Let me get this in here. Does that start at two? That might, that might work. That's pretty much the same thing from the other day, isn't it? Might as well. Something to do, I guess. Something to do, fellas. Something to do. Was Martin practicing for... <laughs> Martin's practicing for the old bucks. Oh, man, that old bucks will drive you crazy. Oh, he won salmon class? I'm going to have to go look at that. I'm going to go look at that right now. I did not know this. Oh, old box. Okay. <laughs> He's good at that one. <laughs> 
when it gets a bite. Good stuff, sober. Atta boy. 4.3 pounder, too. Boy, he kicked their butts by 400. Nice. Have we even seen a pike yet? Good afternoon, Zat. How's your day going, sir? Doing good, man. Doing good. Well, I'm hoping you'll bring me luck in this, Sat. Well, me and Big Legit were just talking about, oh my gosh, how we never, uh, yeah, he won old bucks. Talking about how we never get seven pounder in this. It's got to be server based. So we go to the French server. Okay, they are handing them out. One more try here. Yeah, it's never shown me love, Zat. And I know the pike well here. <laughs> it, it is never, uh, never does. All right, apparently, it's not willing to bite here. So let's rotate out early now. Does it really matter? Not really. I could sit there forever casting. I'll just circle back to it. Yeah, I pretty much kind of feel the same way as that. Like I said, other than knowing rotations, respawn timers, parameters, that sort of thing, it definitely starts to feel like that, man. Unfortunately, and if there's players that know exactly what lobby to get into or, or that sort of thing, too, kind of takes a little bit of the thrill out of it. But what can you do, man? If you like the game, you like the game. At least we got a bite. Exactly. And you know what, Keith? <laughs> yeah, me and Grizzlies had the same talk. Hey, boss, how you doing, buddy? No. Well, what my fear is that, not to keep rambling about it, but what if some of the players have figured out exactly what lobby and they can identify what lobby is going to be a good lobby fairly quick? That's That would explain a lot of the, the same scores over and over.
But yeah, Keith, that that's happened for me. Sometimes I'll just use the 10 walker and I'll get a 6-9 with the 10 walker and a 1-2 or a 1-1 with the 10 walker. And then sometimes you can go into these things and you can fish almost the whole thing and not even get a unique. <laughs> that happens too. It might be one of these runs right now. It feels that way, Zat, because that score yesterday, the guy that paused and then another guy told me that he was in the room with him and the guy was in incognito on that bloody threat, so who knows, man. All right, we're definitely getting a bass spawn. Exactly. <laughs> More of a exploiting game mechanics or programming mechanics is what you'd say. But yeah, it's not a hack, I don't think. It's just they figured out a way to be in what room? Like a super lobby, so to speak. About five minutes. <sighs> one cast over here. If I don't get one, I'm going over to the other spot. We'll just throw a mouse and just see what happens at this point. I think that's a bass. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm still bass fishing from yesterday, bro. Uh, do I even go one more? Let's do one more. Uh, I'm just not feeling it this time, Zach. Not feeling it, buddy. Ooh, at least Ian got him a seven pounder. Dennis has got almost a seven pounder. I might be a pickerel. And isn't that a story of one's Quanchkin pike experience in Dancing with the Pike? Nice little undersized uni. Yeah, that's something to do, like I said, uh, par for the course, right, Big? <laughs> like I said, I, I don't want to sit and keep ranting on the, on the game because we all enjoy it. But it does sometimes does certainly feel uh, 
somewhat programmed on, upon what lobby you're going in. Not that, like I said, to me it seems like the biggest mistakes you can make is like on total weight things, that sort of thing of uh, sticking out a spot too much, that sort of thing. Over rotating, under, under rotating. I mean, you can make mistakes, but sometimes it's just it totally just feels like luck of the draw. But that would be unfortunate if there's a number of players that's figured out how to always get the uh, the good RNG, because that does take away from sportsmanship. Because even the other day, and uh, another one that's coming up later, the Rodeo Roundup, two of the guys that are always near the top, both of them got 1,200-something in Rodeo Roundup. Yeah, that that's the problem that I don't like, and I've been ranting about that forever, Buzz. I don't mind death by size is what I like to refer to it as. If you're just getting smaller fish... And the next guy gets the bigger uniques or whatever. That doesn't bother me. It's when you feel like you're being dead legged where you know your timer's off. And then the same people go in, just like the bloody threat the other day. I got a good routine in that. Put up the third highest score ever. The next time I go into it, I could just tell all my tiles were inactive or very lethargic. But the same people seem to get the same bite rate no matter what. That, that part does frustrate you. In other words, it should be more random. It's fishing. It definitely should be more random. I mean, it should have some consistency, but there should be a certain amount of randomness to it. Yep. We call... Uh, yeah. I call that the naughty list. The RNG naughty list. It, it happens. <laughs> Me and my buddy Jordan, I think, had a record once, Buzz. We both went... Uh, I want to say three, three and a half weeks, and we didn't even get, I don't even know if a top five. Me and my buddy Jordan, that happened to both of us. We were both around three, three and a half weeks once where you didn't get it, have any luck in anything. Everything you played in, you just got the worst luck. <laughs> Zat lives on that list. Zat knows what the naughty list is. <laughs> All right, well, we officially got two pike anyway. One seven, one eight. Small trophy, 1-8. All right, we got a gap anyway, fellas. All right, let's wait through some bass back there. I don't know if it works like that. I've had people say that, Buzz, but I can tell you, I've had a couple good runs off and on, but I've had premium for about two weeks now, and I haven't really seen a difference on it. <laughs> I bought a, a small thing. My buddy got me something for my uh, birthday a week or two ago. And I got it for the uh, to farm the bait coin. So I got premium. And I have not seen a difference with premium, boy. <laughs> but we don't know. What that, maybe. Maybe if you buy something, it gets you off the bad list. <laughs> oh, it seems you get on a hot streak if you buy something. <laughs> maybe. I'll pay attention next time, Buzz, when I get something. But I know I bought something a week or two ago for that St. Paddy's Day thing just to get the extra bait coins, two per fish or whatever. But I'll pay attention more to it and see if uh, it's a thing. But I'm, in other words, I'm rocking premium right now and I got a five five pound unique. <laughs> so they're not they're not raining seven pounders on me. Gotta be a bass, right? I think it's a bass. It's swimming like a bass. Something, well, maybe. Maybe, man. I've had people stop by the channel before and swear up and down that uh, 
it's something to do with purchasing, but I don't know. To me, it kind of just feels like server-based. Like somehow people's fi figured out how to be in one of those super servers. Well, I can tell you, Keith, I did, like I said, I'm not defending Fish and Planet. I think it's a great game. I don't think, I wouldn't think because you got premium, you're going to get better luck. I think it's more of uh, RNG is just distributed out, man. And I don't know how they do it. But if people have figured out a pattern of what lobby to be in, that's just after 15, 1600 comps, it kind of starting to feel like a lot of it's just based on luck of the draw, but. I don't know exactly how it works. Yeah, now serving. Yep. Well, Big Legit was saying that on uh, Steam or PC or whatever or Windows, they can actually see what server. Like there's a server number, but I don't, I know it doesn't work like that on console. At least I don't, I've never seen where there's a server number. But I know I've had some of my better luck um, when I play in something off stream. If I just go off on my own server, it doesn't really seem to matter to the language as much. It's sometimes if I just end off on my own server and I, I seem to have a little better luck. I think what most of us would like to see is if everything was like a medium, you know, like everybody felt like they had the same chance and then the, the, the little decisions you make in regards to the hook size, color selection, you know, that sort of thing would increase or decrease your chances, I think. What do you need to catch for uh, this tournament? I'm trying to catch pike, bro. I'm trying to catch a big pike and a small pike. Unfortunately, my pike's too small, so I'm not even going for a smaller one yet. Trying to get a unique pickerel, man. Unique chain pickerel. I'm harvesting some nice bass, though. I'm, I'm hoping it eventually will drop one. All right, Keith, take it easy. Yep, that's what I'm saying, Buzz. I, I think you'll notice what I'm talking about on here. And I had a, a, a guy stop by uh, the channel, or I know one of my one of my friends and subs on here, uh, Alex. And he even emailed Fish and Planet asking them if it was coded the same for everybody. And they said they can't say exactly how it's coded, but it is coded the same for everybody. But kind of what you're going to, I think we would all kind of like that. If we're all fishing in similar spots, similar baits, that sort of thing, things should be determined by sizes. But it, to me, it feels like uh, bad RNG. It's the fish, even like in the rodeo roundup I'm going to play in later. It's like the fish are programmed to come up and act like they're going to bite, but they don't actually bite. So even just for that comp in particular, if a guy's getting great RNG in it, he's getting a fast bite, and he's getting his fish actually come up and bite the topwater lure, and they don't miss. Uh, on top of all that that stuff, the RNG is like, it's not only bite rate, but it's your hook set rate in regards to how many fish miss, uh, that sort of thing. So that's what it feels like to me, and that that's... Me speaking from experience because I've played in so many of them now. But yeah, it would be, I think, more well received if it was actually just went off of lucky numbers generated in regards to the fish sizes and not all the other factors. I 
I'm bound to turn when I get this unique out of here. Nope. I wish it was that way. Great one. Nope. I I can tell you now, I got the majority of the stuff. Not everything, but I got the majority of the stuff. And I have not, uh, I don't, you know, I don't think that's the case. I don't think it's just the X-Series stuff. It's more to me that feels like lucky numbers generated in regards to the RNG system on a lot of it. My point, my point exactly. I got a 5-0. I got a 5-0 out here. X-Series mouse, which is not an easy thing to win. And I got a 5-9. Also, my other unique was caught on a an X series frog popper 40. So it's not the X series. I mean, I just got two tiny undersized unique on two X series lures, buddy. I know what others. I bet a guy could come in here with just a regular mouse or a regular walker uh, and get a nice size one. It's all kind of just depends on what the computer's generated for you. It seems they pick. Oh, so you're writing the numbers down. Yeah. Well, and I've tried almost everything you can think of in this Vampire Mouse, Duck Lure, uh, Patriot Walker, X Series Walker. I haven't tried the Club Series Walker. Maybe I should try that. That'll do it. But in other words, I, I've. Came through here just kind of like Grizzly was saying. The time that he wanted, he had a, I think the X Series Walker 4.0 got the small and the big off of it. And I've put up, you know, a 6.9 and a 1.1 so many times just with this lure right here, getting the big one and the small one. And I know my buddy Fork that's in our club, Zat, he he won the uh, the Taman comp before with, he won in the, got 7-0 mouse, he got the big and the small Taman in the Siberian con thing. Oh, it's going to spit it. Okay, now that goes to show you, I, I was just saying this. I got the biggest one off of a 1-0 generic walker. The 1-0 generic walker. Just a generic walker. I've did that timeless, I, I've did it so many times on this though, Buzz. It's, it's just comical. But guys, don't let it ruin the game. The game itself is amazing. I just, I think most people would hope that at some point they're working on the new map and everything else. But I would, I would hope at some point they at least look at the computer's algorithm on how the uh, things are determined. Faster. How is it a faster uni in this one? Great one. Were you watching what I was just watching? I sat over here earlier with the next series frog popper for what? Five minutes? And I didn't even catch a, a pickerel. I'm not saying X series don't have a nice buff on it, but.
Bear with him, Big Legit. He, he, I think he's just not even barely got into comps yet. But that's just those preconceived notions, I think, Big. <laughs> and I don't know if we know definitively, but Big, Big might be able to tell me. Wasn't there a... Uh, No, 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 I, I can tell you this, I can tell you this, some of them seem like they have a little bit of a buff on it, but I can tell you, uh, my biggest perch has came off of the, the four, I've had multiple big 450s with this, just the regular four inch, but I don't know, I don't know exactly how that they work, but... Faster and more. Uh, pr prove it to me, great one. <laughs> you would have to prove it to me, bro. You would have to prove it to me. <laughs> I know. And great one. Your talk, big legit there, has played in so many comps. <laughs> great one. You're arguing with the wrong guy there in big legit, I can tell you. I think there's a minor buff on them, and I don't know how big it is. I think there's a percentage that you can get a bigger fish, but it's probably a small percentage. The best advice I can give you is whatever you're confident in using, man. Whatever you're confident in using. That's usually the best advice a guy can give. I only got a 1-3, fellas. We got her big and her small. That's all we could do. But virtually in this thing, I could have just used this 1-0 for everything. You don't play it for luck, for fish, for skill, and carps. I don't even know what you're saying, man. Good afternoon. All right, guys, that's over with. All right, guys, give me a couple minutes. I'm going to make a uh, make a drink real quick. Talk amongst each other. We'll take it. That'll hold us in the top 20 anyway. But we did get three uniques. And oddly enough, again, the biggest unique was just off a of standard uh, 1 0 walker. 1 0 walker, fellas.
yeah, definitely when you get older, for sure. Let's see. What the hell is I even doing? I need a... Hold on, let me double check this thing. I got... Yeah, it's pretty much the salmon class, but it's trophy and unique only. Pink color. All right. Well, I'll need that anyway, so let's go ahead and put that back on there. Does anybody ever wish you could lock your reels into place, your extra reels that you use? Like you just have a lock mode where they don't leave your inventory ever? Keeps getting thrashed, bro. We got enough there. You don't have it yet. Uh, there's a little pack you can get for 90 or 99 bait coins. Whenever I want to say it was 99 bait coins, I only had one. I got lucky and got it out of the pumpkin. But around there, there's a little bait coin pack just for bait coins, and it gives you 13 of each. I can't remember how much it was. It was either 99 bait coins or 199. So hopefully they bring that back. But yeah, for the longest time, Buzz, I only had one roach spoon, so I had to be very very careful with it. Let's see here. I'm going to wear that out a little bit. All right, we got that, and that should be good. That's with me, that's with me. All right. The rodeo roundup would be later. Bear with me, guys. Trying to get set up for both real quick here. A lot of work. 
work for a half hour comp there. for the round up that's for the I don't know if I want to use that or not What in the hell? All right, I'm gonna go mess around with Amazon a little bit while I'm waiting for this thing to start here. I got about 14 minutes. Oh, and you got the well and catfish? Nice. That's a fun one. Yeah, that maroon diversity. I've been trying to find another spot. Or a couple other spots. I don't know. I can't find that lucky spot in that either. I've been trying, let me tell you. Hold on, let me make sure I'm... Make sure I'm readied up for this thing here. Yes, I am. We got 12 minutes. And I'm registered for, yes, okay. You're still not doing that one? Yeah, that one can drive you crazy, man. A lot of them can, though, Zat. A lot of them can, man. Yeah, I need to find one of those spots that have where you can get 90 to 100 from one spot. <laughs> that and good RNG on top of it, I would assume.
I'm going to try this silly thing. I really don't like it for shark, though. I just don't have confidence in this thing for shark very often. Sounds like Zat's arm's being twisted to play the Maroon Diversity. That was supposed to be one of Zat's projects to go in and find a hot spot for that thing. I don't know why. He's slacking. He's been slacking. I think that catfish tournament wore him out. Oh, spot for the... <laughs> I've tried Buzz on the Maroon Diversity. I don't think that's what they're doing. They just got a really good spot. Oh, nice. Good to hear, BB23. I'm just killing time. I got a sponsored thing. I'm sponsored competition. I'm going to try for fun at the... Uh, Kanik, and then it's top water, uh, top water rodeo there. Oh, all on floats, nice. Yeah, sharks can be streaky for sure. From the uh, qualifier too, yeah, that <laughs> that wore me out too. Between practicing and playing in that Q2 for the uh, Wells Catfish, yeah, I have not wanted to go too crazy on the spotting. Oh, the catfish? Yeah, that one. I needed one more. I was one unique short in that and one unique short in Q2. But I made it to the final last year, so I was just going in to have fun. Q3 did not treat me good, though. Holy cow, Q3 was bad. Q3 was horrible for me and Super Dave. I had fun in Q1 and Q2, though. Q3 was not a good time. I do believe that's a common or a trophy. 
Too bad the Cayman swim bait didn't work good. Just a bull shark, 228 pounder though, we'll take it. I wonder if I... Swamp got him a nice trophy. All right, let's go to this next spot and see. <laughs> you got lost and couldn't find your night marks. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, 223. I like the, the swim bait on the, uh, the Goliath too. The Goliath and the Perch. I just remember when doing this monster mission on this, and I was so excited to get this lure. I was so excited to get this lure for shark. I mean, after all, it does catch the bullfighter or whatever it's called, the fighter shark. So I thought for sure it'd be good for farming and just having fun with them. But I, I've tried every retrieve known to man. I've caught a couple trophy on it, but it seems just to take forever. Straight retrieve, it doesn't seem to matter. Stop and go. Rail and twitch. No, I'm not going to lose it. <laughs> I use it on Goliath and stuff here and there. It's just one of those I was actually disappointed in it. Because I thought for sure, man, it was like finally a 10-0 a hook for uh, for shark. But no. And I, I, I've tried it a lot, man. For me, as far as like the monster lures, I think the uh, the golem lure is still a little better for shark in regards to uh, between the caiman swim bait and the uh, golem. Yeah, that's what exactly what I was getting ready to bring up is the golem lure. I, I don't even use it on shark just because unless they're only in the top or the middle, you still don't get I think the deep runner for me at least. The deep runner and the shad, I would say, is number one and number two for me on shark, lure wise. Duo swim baits are alright. Some of the jerk baits are alright. But it's a 10 0, and 10 0 is my favorite uh, hook to use on uh, floats as well, so. but. Yeah, I wish they had a 10-0 deep runner or a 10-0 crankbait. Hopefully they add that at some point. Hey, Dizzy, how you doing? I don't like the 70. I don't like the white one as much. I really don't like the white one as much. I prefer the orange or the red one, but yeah, the, I think the green is number two. The white I put actually at the last. Yep, 10-0, 10-0 deep runner. That would be amazing. Oh, shoot. I got to get out of here. I got subtracted. Subtracted. I gotta get out of here, fellas. <gasps> oh, well, we'll fix that debacle later. We will fix that later. So I start with a spinner. Yeah, it'd be nice. If, I'm sure they'll add something that will be backwards compatible. You know what I mean? They always do. <laughs> that was genuine, big. I need every second I can get in this thing I'm getting ready to play in. Be ready for me to complain too, guys. It's basically a point-by-point point for salmon class, so it's trophies and unis only. <laughs> Kanik will drive me crazy. I, I, 
it's just one of those places I love, but since the uh, fish all glitch out, be ready for me to start complaining in this thing. In other words, I need every every minute I get I can get in this thing. And I've already wasted time. Of course I did. <laughs> well, we it's our it's in our uh, nature to complain, is it not? I think we all complain some. It, if you say you don't complain ever, then you're definitely lying. You gotta be lying. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see, see what kind of bad luck I can have in this one. This, it's usually fun though. I'm sure I'll sit and cry about something. I was doing good in this one the other day, and all my fish started glitching out at the top, and I was getting annoyed. Oh, you just missed this one? Yeah, it, it's only 20 bait coins, but it's fun. Dizzy, I know you love the Salmon Clash and all this stuff here. And before anybody says it, yes, I know the medium spoon works too here, guys. I'm aware. Before anybody says it. Yep, I know I'm 15% lying too. I'll pay attention to it. Once it gets down to 10, we'll rotate it out. Yeah, Kanik's a lot of fun. See, look at that. I'm 35 seconds late, and Biza's up there already got a unique and a trophy. I should have just went buzz bait. I think I was having luck last time with the buzz bait. Stop that. There it goes. There. I'm okay. I'm already raging. Just glitched to get. Oh my. <laughs> Don't start, Kumar. <laughs> yes, bro. We we love the medium spoon. I do use the medium spoon every once in a while. I think the most important thing in for for any of us here is hopefully your fish don't glitch out. I don't really know if it matters too much the lure you use. You could use a nymph and a buzz bait. You could use a jig head and a buzz bait or a jig head and a, a nymph. Almost any spinner will work, and majority of your spoons. I know one thing I should try at some point. Some guy was telling me he loves the uh, the three O medium spoon, the Club Series medium spoon. I have not tried that. I don't even think I got it with me either. A guy was telling me that the other day. I may not even get anything over here. We're pointless. Uh, this is just a sponsored thing. I got this and then Rodeo Roundup. Not very many good comps on today, Norcus, buddy. Uh, no. You've been demoted as my coach, Day. Yeah, that one. Yep, that's what a guy was telling me, Kumar. I don't even think I have it with me, and I can't really pause to look. I should have thought of it earlier. I think I bought it. I think. I don't think I have it with me, though. I'll look when I get to the top, when I get stuck on something. Oh. There it goes. I hope that was a common and not a trophy. On that one, just... Oh, my God, bro. That was definitely a trophy there.
Oh no. Forgot your ground baits. That stinks, man. Come on. Oh, yeah, that is not good on the come on carp. You definitely need it, man. For sure. I think you can dump your bag on that, Norcus. If you've already caught, you can dump your bag. I don't think they sell carp rival or anything there either. I'm pretty sure they don't, man. I'm going to try one cast at the... Uh, Tell him here real quick. Cause they're all worth a point. Nope, this is Saka. I lied. One more cast. This is a point per, so I was hoping I could get the uh, one of the chums out of here. No chum. Alright, I'll light again. One more try with the spinner. Uh, five. You get five points right here. There's a, a trophy chum and a unique chum right back there. It's a kind of a finicky cast. There's a unique chum right there and a trophy chum. The problem is I'm going right in. If I don't get them quick enough, I'm going right into the sockeye. Sometimes they'll follow it, but no, I'm just going to sit here and catch Saka. All right. And I'm going to do this a little different since it's a point per. The odds that I get that fast up there anyway. I'm already behind pace, so I'm going to spend just a little time here and go for a chum right here as well. Or a Chinook. Just a cast or two. No luck. Even a spawn. No spawn even. Okay, nothing's there. I probably should have camped that out that first spot. Because the odds I'm going to come up here and get annoyed is pretty favorable.
Dennis is on fire. Trophy gone. I doubt we're that lucky. Nope. Well, I was really hoping that was a trophy because I would have just went right to the right and tried to get the unique and two trophies over there. Couldn't be that lucky. Nope. I don't think that's nothing special either. Just a common. Come on, bro. I'm taking forever. Well, I better watch my line. I should have just put that other line on there. Definitely not work. But... Oh, of course. Be a trophy, please. I'd rather it be the trophy than the uni. Be the trophy. Be the trophy. Unique. No, I wanted that to be the trophy. That would be handy if that's a, can't tell, maybe, maybe. Got him, okay, now we gotta get two trophies up here and dodge 75 Chinook and hope that I don't rage when my fish fly over the lock. Well, it usually all goes downhill right here in Orcas. The spot makes me rage. The fish usually glitch out over here, buddy. And you get plenty of Chinook.
Come on. Looks like I'm going to kill the clock. Hey, Lychee. How you doing, buddy? They mysteriously stop blocking this. Oh man. Oh, where's my oh my god, my green one's gone. I'm gonna have to get that back on the inventory. Okay, they don't want the topper at all now. No topper. Oh my god, bro. Come on. Stop it. So we're getting bites now. Oh, there they go. They're all gonna fly off. Red line? No, it's X series fluoro, so I get it down pretty low before I switch it out. I don't think that's a thing, but maybe. Definitely off pace. Come on, bro. Get out of here. That can't be him. How can I get with slug bait? You mean what? What can you get with a slug bait? Uh, uh, Largemouth bass, speckled bass, any bass will hit the slug. Uh, walleye, uh, tigerfish. Mm. 
Gar. I don't know if I've tried it on salmon. Maybe, bro. If I can get this other trophy out of here, I'll try it down at the bottom and just see. I need to get this trophy out of here, though. This lab will take me another 10 minutes if I'm not careful. Oh, wax bike hardcore. This glitched out again. I hope that was a Chinook. That one glitched out. Chad 9 0. Nice. Good job, Dizzy. 438. Gotta have. Well, I would say one of the easiest things that I would say you got to have, it was a 30-day steak X-Series Glow Crawl if you do not have that. That's an easy one to do, the 30-day stay at Weeping Willow. That would be a number one, I would say, that most people can obtain. Uh, the X-Series Nymph here is great as well, just rowing your, your kayak. As far as stuff that you can win in competitions, I think one of my favorites... Uh, is the X Series Major Popper 50? That was one of my favorite things that I've picked up. If you like top water, but definitely the X Series Glow Crawl because you can pair it with buzz baits, bass jigs, uh, for all kinds of competitions and stuff that you're going to want to have it. Whether you're playing in the Best Five Challenge or the Bass Challenge or Saltwater Giants, the X Series Glow Crawl. It's definitely one that uh, is worth 30 days stay at Weeping Willow for sure. And they're really not going to give me this trophy. It's already glitched out. Should have just left him up here. What a waste, man. For real. I think what I'm going to start doing from now on, if that, if that fish glitches out and this flies over the log, I'm just leaving it. There's no sense of staying. It just kills my round every time. 
If I don't get it and it flies off, I'm just leaving it. Every time now. I'll just get one out of the two. There's no sense of going for the second one. You have to have really good luck for that thing not to fly off anymore. Extremely good luck. Then it takes you about 75 minutes to walk down here. Of course, my chat just fell behind, and I overcasted that as I looked at my chat. And doesn't surprise me, it's just a common story of my run. Another common, exciting. fish. Uh, so I just throw in the spinner the entire match. And the common. We're going for a common record, boys. Along for a coho. See if we got a. Either one. 
Poho or a sock art? Good grief, man. How did that mess? <laughs> oh, this has been torturous. Oh, I finally hit eight. My chat's behind too, guys. I'll have to reset it. In other words, if you're saying something. Come on. Come on, get us up to nine. <laughs> Bro. Hello? Hello? What in the... Oh, man. My avatar was exhausted after that one. And I don't think we're going to get a more sockeye to even spawn. Oh, just glitched out. That was probably the trophy. took long enough. Oh, 
Well, at least the uni came out quick. Lay him on the bank for a half hour. Don't jerk him around. Whatever you do, he'll get off on no tension. Thank you. 69 pounder. All right, let's see if we can get the coho real quick here. Come on, coho. Come on, Koha, where are you, bro? There we go. All right, let's play the odds and go, because I'm not going to stay there for one, but I can go up for two. Not there yet, not there yet. I could go for that. Now, let me do one cast over here. I can get a trophy or a Nuke Chinook. Then we'll try to finish with the Chum and Respawn Sockeye. Would be the plan, and my chat still froze, guys, so. I can't pause to reset it. Spend a couple minutes over here, guys. Oh, come on. I should have did that. Nope. Not what I needed. Come on, let's give us the trophy. I need that point bad. Give us the pointer. I need one point. Come on. Trophy early any. Neither one. Last cast here. I'm just going to be waiting on respawns that probably won't head anywhere at the first spot. Come on. There's got to be one here. That's what we needed to, I think. This flew off. All right. Last cast. Short cast it. Hope I can fall right on one of them's head. At least the trophy, bro. Are you up higher? Nope. Neither one of them. Damn it. Where am I? 
to cast a little farther to see if I can get the Chum or the Sockeye. So right there. They're all worth one point in this thing, so. Topiar Uni, come on. There we go. Got the uni. Pretty sure that was a trophy. Damn it. That's just a common. Come on, where's the sockeye? Either one, bro. Come on. Good job, Dennis. Dang, bro. Got the yeah, so we got Trophy Chum and two Trophy Sock are available, but we have a limited amount of time. Come on. Give us the Chum at least. Oh no, it's stuck on the rock. Oh, come on. What in the hell? Give us one of our response. Give us our second respawn. Mm. 
Nope. Oh, man, my chat. GG, guys. GG's. Good job, Dennis. All right, boys. We had a really bad, bad slow spell there. We did play a little bit of catch up, so that was fun. That was fun. We did all right. Made a little bit of a comeback anyway. We got 10th. We'll take it considering where we were at at one time. Good Lord, we were in a bad way at one time. Good job, Dennis. Got him 20 big coins there. Pretty sure it was 20 big coins. All right, guys, let me get a drink, and I'll be right back. Let me get my chat reset as well. I don't know what happened there. It froze. I'll be back here in a couple minutes, guys. All right, boys, I'm back. Sorry, my chat was froze. Yeah, I tried. I tried the buzz bait, bro. Earlier, <laughs> I tried the buzz bait with the nymph. You, you wasn't there. I tried buzz bait with the nymph. I tried, tried about everything, man. Seemed to have most trust in the uh, the spinner there. And this one, I can tell you, is even going to be worse here in a second. Because it's the top water rodeo. This one will drive you crazy. Got nine minutes, huh? Got nine minutes for that. Gotta make sure I got my. Where did my green topper 4 go? Lost it. Lost it, guys. Bring that. Make sure I got a Patriot Walker somewhere. Got that. Got the Jolly Walker. I think we're good there. We are good there. What the hell happened there? All 
All right, I'm going to spend just a few minutes over here at Congo, and then we'll get ready for this next one. And let's see if they add in another customer or not, because I doubt I'll play in that catfish thing today. This one's okay, but the other one's not. Truly unique race. Oh, that's too late. It's too, if it wasn't nine, I might play in that one later. I'm going to skip that one and eat dinner. But... All right. We actually... Uh, we actually got an opening, two openings right now, Tattoo. If, are you going to try to play in some comps? We need we need a couple more guys that can play in comps. If you're willing to learn the comps, I could talk to the guys and see if they want in. We actually got two openings. What's the question, sir? Uh, try, as generic as it sounds, try a uh, buzz bait with a uh, crawl tattoo. Buzz bait with a glow crawl. Acid buzz, 5-0. Oh yeah, that large minnows and five oh six oh. Depends on how you want to do it. Hey, Reaction, how's it going, man?
Ah, uh, you mean you're not getting any bites? What? Where are you trying to fish at, Reaction? Uh, I'm getting ready to go into a competition, man. I, unless you're on, you can try to add me, Reaction, if you want. I'm on. If, it's not cross-platform. If you're on PlayStation, you can send me a friend request. But I got a competition to play in here in a second, man. Oh, Lone Star, yeah, just, uh, <laughs> if you got a little slop spoon or a small jig, 1-0, or a casting spoon, target the spotted bass there, man. If you look around on my playlist, there's a startup guide for Lone Star somewhere I did, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You just want a little casting spoon, you're going to want to target the little spotted bass there, man. Thank you, boss. Quick money and quick XP, boys. That's what you got to do to keep up with all your traveling expenses for these comps. Yeah, that that number four will work. Yeah, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that number four, but I think I was using a number one or number two, but it doesn't really matter. You're welcome, bro. Tattoo somewhere. Uh, look on my farming lakes. Uh, tattoo somewhere I got a pike rotation for syringe if that's where you're talking about I can't remember I'm pretty sure I got a pike rotation somewhere for syringe four or five spot rotation oh like tuba my bad my bad bro my bad there, you might even, uh, if you got a jerk bait, for whatever reason, the jerk baits work really good there, too. Jerk bait. Spoon. All right, we got 23rd in that with a 6, 9, and a 5, 6. About all we could do. Yeah, you know what? I did not do very good on that one. <laughs> that was one of my one of my really bad ones there, North. But <laughs> I've gotten better. That was one of my worst playalongs. I don't even know if I got, and I was on that horrible peak. I don't even know if I got a unique in that thing. That was miserable. That's one I'd like to have a redo on, North. Uh, I think I like daytime for the bass there better reaction at Lone Star. What's up, Tryhard? Man, I don't know if I want to.
it, it shouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be, uh, it shouldn't matter, man. Those things should bite. Just look for your peaks, man. Just fish your peaks. Shouldn't matter on those. Oh gosh, and we're back to Kanek Foss. We're headed back to Kanek. Wolf, here we go, fellas. Well, no, it's for rodeo roundup this time. Oh gosh, boys. This comp gives me fits. Let's start with a stupid walker. I think it's gonna matter. the uni out of there. Reaction, you just have to send me a friend request, man. I'll, I'll, I'll look at it later. Just My name's the same as my channel, bro. Name's the same as my channel. Road Warrior 88 Dash. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Brutal. All right, I'll have a look at it later, man. I'll add you, buddy. Oh, is it just, it just goes slow. Oh, you need a trophy, not nothing. Come on, bro. Bye. Welcome back, Lynchy. How you doing, buddy? Let's 
So I throw one for the bull. I regret this. Or not. Uh oh. For sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. I love the topper here north. It just, damn, it takes a long time to use it. You know what I mean? You waste so much time if you get an empty cast. That's what I hate about it. Because you have to work it so slow and methodically that it'll kill a lot of your clock if you don't get anything. That or they come up and miss it. Then you're double whammy. How do you know I have a bait? You mean a bait or a bite? Reaction, I can tell you, you're going to have to go through and do the tutorial like he's saying, because it's not. Uh... Reaction, not to sound rude, but you basically asked one of the simplest questions ever. If you know, if you got to bite the, the rods, obviously you're going to bite, man, but it wouldn't hurt to do the tutorial. <laughs> that was my thought exactly, North, and I was trying not to be rude, but that's exactly what I thought. In other words, it's it's a tough game to just pick up. You kind of got to try to learn the basics before, walk before you run, man. Walk before you run. It isn't as simple as that may sound, but you're better off to do that tutorial, buddy. Just to get the basics down, and from there you'll be all right. Hey, Shaken, how you doing, man? Don't go, buddy. Other than these fish keep messing, right? When I back rolled that, too. Of course it did. That might have actually worked out good if that's the unique. <laughs> I think it's a trophy. Is it a trophy or uni? I think it's a trophy. Come on, bro. Don't get off of there. Come on. Damn, that was a big trophy. Yeah, I literally went to hit the slack on that, the back reel to get it in better place, and it hit right when I backed the reel off. I don't know if you guys seen that. Thanks, Fazel. Appreciate it, buddy. I need all the luck I can get in this one. Come on, bro. 
Oh, we just need a fast bite, so it's not gonna happen. that unique ball bad come on bro. Oh, I knew he was gonna do that it shouldn't zoom in unless you're hitting uh, what are you playing on a man Are you on console or are you on PC? If you're on a keyboard or something or a mouse, you'd have to ask somebody in chat. North might be able to help you. Yep, North will probably be able to help you, man. I'm on PS5, so I wouldn't relate to what you're doing. GTI knows what's up. Thank you, GTI. Or no, he's he's on PC. Uh yeah, it's um look around on my playlist. I've got if you need any lure tips, bro, uh look around on my playlist. I got an extensive playlist. Look at my lure guides. I have a bunch of tips for uh, all, every lure in the game, pretty much, or every lure class. That would probably help you quite a bit. In other words, I got jigs, offset hooks, uh, spinners, spinners and spoons together, top water, cover all the top water lures, crankbaits, uh, jigs and bass jigs, that sort of thing. There's some. I got good lure guides up on my playlist. You just have to look around there. Oh, boy, should I rotate or stick this out? You're welcome, Kyle. If I'm pronouncing that right. Kyle or Sai off. We'll just call you C. You're welcome, buddy. Dad, we are just... Went dead over here. Come on. That's the bad thing about these toppers, man. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna rotate. I'll have to come back. Man, I can just never get in a groove on this one. Okay, I, th I <laughs> that's odd because I have trouble pronouncing, but I was trying to read it right to make sure, buddy. <laughs> so, in other words, I do mispronounce people's names a lot, and I usually feel bad, man. Kyle with a C. I 
Oh, that's not getting the bites, man. That's just dead for me. There we go, finally. Please be a trophy. I need the points so bad. Thank heavens. dark it's gonna get worse for me probably oh, please spawn a fish that oh uh, this one this one can be a lot of fun but yeah uh get <laughs> get doesn't have too much to offer i like a couple of the competitions there the flounder sometimes in the uh length of matters is all right this one here has got a lot of fun competitions If they would ever just bite the hook, come on, bro. I don't think it matters what I do. bad come on give us the uni uni or another trophy hit it bro All right, Kyle, thanks for stopping by. But, yeah, this, they're pretty self-explanatory. There's lure guides, gears, and setup. I put up a pretty good curriculum of stuff on a lot of the stuff that should help you, man. And thanks for stopping by, buddy. And thanks for the sub. Appreciate it, man.
There he is. Came off the left side. That'll help. At least we got the 500 range. Damn. That was brutal, boys. I'm starting to lose hope there for a second. Oh, that's funny, Kyle. I like. I, I need to go back and play a little bit of the angler. I, I think both of them are nice. It's, it's good to have a rotational. We had a club series thing. It's a long story, but I, I, up until about six or, well, it's been a while. I haven't played it in two and a half, three months, I think. But I like the angler, too. They're both just different games. But, yeah, you'll love this game, too. It's a grinder, so good luck to you, man. You'll, you'll, you'll like them both. It'll just be different. Uh, small pet food might work, buddy. I would try that out of the other ones you named. And obviously look for those, yep, yeah, try the pet food and uh, look for the little deep spots if you pull up your little mini map if you know how to do that. Good luck to you again, Kyle. You got Trout Hunter at midnight. GTI, nice, buddy. That one can be fun. We don't have much good after this. Lucky catfish, but... I'm going to have to rotate back over here. I was hoping to get one more trophy out of here, but I think I'm wasting my time over here, fellas. It has slowed down on me. Come on, one more fish. Yeah, it's dead. Dead as a thorn owl, fellas. Give us one more bite. Off the left side over here. Spawn us one more. We'll take anything. We're desperate. Thank you so much. There you go. Got you a spotted bass. Now just keep catching a bunch of them. Save up a bunch of money, and then you can go to another lake, man. Stockpile your money, Reaction. That's one thing I can tell you. Stockpile your money until you have enough. Make sure you pay attention to the next lake you're wanting to go to. You have enough for travel expenses and all that stuff. Oh, come on. There's always at least one. Oh, my God. Did I get a chum? Is that a dolly? <laughs> it's a chum. I deserve it. <laughs> oh, man. I deserve that, fellas. I'll let that go over there too far.
Also, reaction, if you didn't know something that's really big in the game, save up your money before you get too much gear, like fishing, rods and reels and that sort of thing. Save up money for a good keep net because that's how you make money. In other words, the bigger the keep net, more money you can make. So kind of always focus on your keep net too. You fill your keep net and then simply once you go to the next day, it caches your fish in and that's how you make money. That's how you make your game credits, man. Oh, God, we needed that too. And the early game stringers are worth it, Big says. That's one thing I never did, Big, and I don't know why, but you make a great point. <laughs> I was so fixated on that. But I did figure it out fairly quick that I, obviously, more fish you can hold and turn in, the more money you're going to make. Oh, come on, bro. I should have went back to the locker. This just takes too long. I was getting quality fish with it, though. Quality fish, but six years to work it. Six years. Nope. <sighs> doesn't matter if I stop or I keep working it. It just really doesn't. Give us one more so we can at least hit 700. Nope. No such luck. Hit 700, I'll take it at this point. Really, Roberto? Good. I'm glad it's helped you, man. Glad it's helping somebody. <laughs> I think sometimes my own stuff don't even help me anymore, Roberto. But good to hear I'm helping you, man, for real. Thanks for the positive feedback, buddy. You're welcome, Reaction. I think uh, North probably helped you more than I did. I was obviously trying to, to focus here, but yeah. We're a community. We help one another, guys. You're too sick, Berto. Five, six. All right, Roberto, did you send me a... Uh, are you on PlayStation, Roberto? Or are you on... Uh, 
You can send me a friend request if you want, buddy. I'm on PlayStation, though. It's not cross-platform. Unless I've already added, you know. I've added a lot of people, so sometimes it's hard for me to keep track. Oh, get in here. We're going to hit 800. Oh, we'll take it, fellas. We'll take it. Good grief, man. And, of course, then Slip always gets 12 or 1,300. What's up, Trevel? How you doing, buddy? Alrighty, fellas. Uh, you'd have to send it to me on uh, Fishing Planet, bro. You'd have to send it to me on Fishing Planet. I didn't get one, but... Uh, let me look at the schedule here, guys. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm going to take, take a break and eat dinner. I may or may not come back. I may come back and put up a little chill stream and play in this one here. Uh, okay, okay. I'll look, I'll look for you, man. You're, uh, hold on a second here. What was that name you said? Bird 056. All right, yeah, I'll look. I'll, I'll keep an eye out for you, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you added me. I've gained a lot of friends on here, so it's it's kind of tough to keep up sometimes. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. Like I said, I might put up a chill stream later. We'll we'll see how the night goes. But uh, I'm gonna go visit with the wife a little bit. Get ready to eat some dinner, take a break. But uh, appreciate everybody tuning in. Trevo, good luck to you if you're playing in these competitions. Not very good competitions from here on out, buddy. Not, not really any good ones tonight, but let me look and see what the schedule is tomorrow, and then, uh, hold on a second here, let's see, yeah, I see you, bro, I'll, I'll get you, all right, man, I got you, man, you're not doing the rodeo, yeah, I already did the rodeo, I just got down with the rodeo, Trevo. Yeah, I just got done with the rodeo. We did all right. We got 800. Nothing impressive, man. Nothing impressive, but we'll see what tomorrow brings, too. Yep, thanks, Roberto. Good luck to you as well. But uh, tomorrow I'll be back on. But like I said, my, my schedule is going to start picking up at work, so my streams will probably be usually around noon or later, sometimes 2 or 3 in the afternoon. But, oh, man, tomorrow's not any better, really. Mighty 3, Cheesy Cat, and Danger in the Grass. Yeah, tomorrow's not too good either, but we'll see. We'll stream anyway somewhere along the line so appreciate you guys tuning in and uh enjoy the rest of your afternoon or evening depending on where you're at and take care and thanks for the support of channel and thank you for helping out one another and uh, we'll see you guys again in the next one